one of the hike um, I've just done showering and now I'm gonna go have some breakfast and then from there we're gonna go from our accommodation to Tsitsikama National Park um, to do the hike so uh, I'm feeling kind of kind of nervous about carrying a bag <laughs> I think my bag is gonna be like 15 kgs that's a lot so yeah but let's see how it goes today today is supposed to be the shorter hike um we'll be hiking for five days so yeah man the day is finally here first day on the trail We've hiked about two kilometers and we are at the famous waterfall. Um, it's absolutely beautiful. I'm not going to swim. Yeah, but people are swimming. Um, people are jumping. You can see some footage that I took as well. Yeah, it's just a nice place to chill and snack. Um, yeah, regain your energy before you head on to to the hut. I think the hut is about an hour away from here. So we're almost there. So we're just enjoying the scenery and relaxing, gathering our energy to go. goodness we are here oh, we are here we are here we are here Whew. camping area thank goodness this is our camp for the night there's also a tent over there let's check it out Let's see how it looks. This is our view. There's a pathway going down there to those pools over there. I wonder if we can swim there or not. This is the place, basically. So happy we're here. this is our outdoor shower it's only cold water so that's gonna be interesting we're planning i'm planning to shower um in the evening and then in the morning only to catch up so <laughs> let's see let me show you guys inside the shower that's the door and then 
at the bottom here it's tiled we only have cold water as you can see it's just one tap in here um, it's quite spacious so as you can see um, yeah and private as well because the door shuts and this side is all protected so you have your privacy in here and it's quite a long way from from the hut as well so yeah this is where we'll be showering tonight guys so i'm done showering i was using this solar shower here um, and basically you mix in your hot water and some cold water and you're good to go so the water just comes through from this nozzle here great stuff so i didn't have to have a cold shower which i'm grateful for um i was not looking forward to that hey guys it's day two um the weather is not so great it's raining right now and we are about to leave the time is 7 24 um yeah but let's see how today goes in yo guys so day two we took a genuine about an hour to find our route back into the trail um yeah and it was just just after the second hut but it took us so long to find but now we are on our way um, it's still cloudy and yeah so let's see what today holds I think today is the the day with the endless stairs <laughs> endless endless flights of stairs I do hope that you can hear me because the sound of the crashing waves is just um, it is quite a big sound and that's what we slept to I mean how amazing is that so while we're sleeping you hear those waves crashing into those rocks oh my goodness it's the most amazing sound um, slept well so I bought an ultra light sleeping bag which only weighs 680 grams which is amazing um, yeah so now we are we are on the route and I'm feeling like my bag today is a bit heavier so yesterday when I weighed the bag it was about 17 kgs and I only took out about probably 8 300 grams so it's not much of shedding uh, but today I'm gonna eat my chickpeas which weigh like 400 grams so yeah that's better um, yeah but I had a good night's sleep oh yeah the sound can you hear that most amazing sound and we had the beautiful beautiful view from um, camp one so try to get to camp one <laughs> that's the one with the best view You can see the huts right there by the curve. Um, right there by the curve, you can see this is the view. We passed the escape. We passed the escape route number one. No escapers. I just want to show you guys the picture spot um, the weather is not so great so I'm not gonna go there today but over there you go up from this way and then you go up there that's, that's a good picture spot and then somebody can wait on the other side and and just yeah take pictures of you really nice this is the most amazing view look at that it's raining and I don't have a casing guys for my GoPro so let me see if I wipe the lens that's better this 
this is literally never ending flight of stairs yes yeah, here's another one this e2 means it's escape route number two um there's even a little map here if you want to take the escape route going on to the n2 and this is the way up so so far we've done 3.8 kilometers <sighs> yeah it's a lot <laughs> but yeah pushing through loads and loads of inclines today um, but the constant sound of those waves and just um, because there's a lot of vegetation a lot of trees here after that you can clearly see the ocean really good Guys, so we were crossing the what's this river? Plain Boss, yeah. Plain Boss River, and I actually fell in just as we were starting to cross. But luckily, um, I didn't strap on my bag, so it didn't get wet. But I think one of my boots got wet inside because the waves come in, so it's sort of like high tide. So yeah, I think I'm just gonna have to hike with my river river crossing shoes. We'll see. But yeah, at least I had my adventure for today. <laughs> Let it continue. This, this is tough. I'm not playing. This is generally tough. My calves, actually every, every point on my legs is just like, no, we can't do this but there's a sandy beach on the other side so that's my target for now sandy beach sandy beach sandy beach sandy beach that's what's going for my life so let's keep going You guys today is one of those hectic days so we are just at a viewpoint i think we're probably like a kilometer or so out um look i can see people down there i'm not sure if you'll be able to see but down there somewhere i see a person going down the scenery is absolutely amazing the viewpoint up there was incredible so just trying to keep on going my calves are painful so i'm gonna be using voltaren tonight and i also brought transect patches for my back because i'm feeling it today so yeah so that i wake up better tomorrow yeah but constantly now i think i'll be surrounded by water yes! this is where we're from that's where we are going let's go there we go we are here Camping area. Camping area. Mm, tent. Oh man, look at that. Look at that.
Hey guys, um, so I'm at Scott's hut, done showering. I took the cold shower today. It was horrible. Generally, just horrible. Um, but yeah, at least I'm done showering now. And I've repacked my backpack. I've put a liner inside and now I'm just gonna chill by the fire and then make food so today i'm having instant rice with instant mixed vegetables with minestrone soup and chickpeas so yeah that's gonna be great i uh, brought some spices as well to put in the food uh, today was brutal it was a lot of states loads and loads of declines and inclines of states some points were not too bad but some were like really high um, or really steep declines so yeah that's it for day two um, yeah so I think day three we're gonna head that way tomorrow morning and we have a few rivers to cross tomorrow so yeah but day four is the one the big one the blue grants river yeah but that's it guys um i'm feeling good i'm not feeling like i don't want to do this anymore so <laughs> i'm still okay good morning um it's just after five and it's day three we are up early because we need to cross Lothering River. We're not sure how it's gonna be when we reach there because the low tide is supposed to be at 20 to 8. So let's see how it is when we get there. Not feeling too bad. I um, think the transit patches really worked for me. So yeah, let's see how today goes. Um, I'll speak to you guys on the train again today. guys so we've crossed Ella's Boss River and we've done 2.3 kilometers I'm worried because the low tide time for um, lottering is 7.40 that's the time right now so I'm worried that we're gonna get there and the tide is gonna be a bit higher although we do have a rope in the group but let's see how that goes um, yeah seems like we have another two point probably two point seven or so kilometers to go before we reach um lottering river i hope it won't be too high let's see but we are ready to go now and the sun is fully out as you can see the views here are totally amazing today has been so scenic because we are walking right on the edge yeah and the constant waves crashing and going up like so high on those rocks it's it's really worth it um feeling good so i can still put 
push a little bit more. Yeah, let's speak later. Can you see me? <laughs> Hopefully, I'm not too much in your face, but I just want to show you what happens at the best network spots. Look at that. Everybody's just, you know, updating family, checking messages. Yeah. We are fully off the grid. This is a tough one. Day three is tough. Uh, there was this other incline where I felt like just sitting down for maybe 30 minutes, but can't do that because I'm rushing to Lottering River. Um, oh, wow, look at that. There is another escape route number. 5.5 so if you can't take this no more you will take this route over here i however seems like i just like the torture so i shall continue Ooh. the view here is beautiful i can't get over it both sides so this side that other side of these trees is the ocean and then this side is just green look at that how beautiful is that see this view. day three is so scenic the most scenic probably of the days i'm loving the views although my feet are not so much loving this day but my eyes absolutely love it oh my goodness we're gonna go there i can see somebody there by that first hill somebody's going up there this is us imagine that imagine that goodness I actually see the hearts look that's our heart and we need to cross this river the Lotharin River that is the heart and I think those people are just leaving the heart because usually there's two teams I don't know why they would only leave now because it's 10 30 um, worried if they'll make bloke runs but there's people in yellow there on those two yeah I mean I see the Lottering River is here look at that guys I made it across Lottering River let's have a look at the time it's 11 o'clock and the water was up to my knees so this is it. Woo! I made it. <laughs> I made it. The, the, when I was going down, after I, I showed you the heart, that was tricky. I was shaking. That was, for me, that was a challenge. So, going on to the heart now. of what I've watched YouTube and stuff people have downplayed how tough the otter really is it's challenging I'm not the fittest person I do go to gym and exercise and all that but I feel like it's tough my legs are so all over my shoulders plus you're carrying a bag guys so you can imagine um, we left the hut and just after five and we got to the Lotharen River now at 11. The, high, the low tide was at 7.40 so we missed it. But yeah, there's a tra tough trail so train. Yeah, oh mentally we ready. This is important. It's important. 
and enjoy the views babe enjoy the views because the views are really stunning it's as beautiful as they say or even more beautiful actually The sun is still out and I'm about to sleep because we are planning to leave the hut at 12 o'clock midnight <laughs> uh, yeah 12 o'clock midnight um, this is based on the pace of our group it's supposed to take us five hours to get to block runs but we estimate it's gonna take a little more than that so that's why we're leaving at 12 because we need to make make it to block runs by 7 30 so that we can cross at 8 30 a.m and that's because the second low tide is at 8 in the evening so that's not an option um yeah so that's the plan for now i've packed my bag um yeah so i'm ready to go it's just gonna wake up um wash up dress and go transact patches and voltaren are working so good for me i have a few few blisters on my feet uh, but it's not that bad so i'm just applying the tea tree antiseptic cream and then covering with socks and then tomorrow morning i'm gonna use bandages um just so that to give them some cushioning so that i don't feel a lot of pain um yeah so as you can see this i forget that i'm carrying this light so <laughs> as you can see on my shoulder is a transect patch uh yeah um this is what's happening I'll be happy when we've crossed block runs at low low tide. I will be happy if the water is up to my ankles, but I know even at low tide it can be as high as my waist. So let's see what happens tomorrow. So yeah, it's good night for me.